Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. We're doing TNT. So <laughs> I saw this. This happened in China. So there was a uh, there was a corrupt Chinese official. <laughs> Mean all of them? You're like, there's the la- you're like, there's the joke. Da, da, da. <laughs> if you said there was an uncorrupt Chinese official, I'd be like, oh my god, a new story. But <laughs> so, yeah, keep it going. So they they la- last oh, it says uh, they lost la- launched a, a probe into Zhang Zhengbo. Okay. He was a retired. Uh, Feel offended by the way you said that. I-, I think that's the right way. Probably not. And I'm sorry if I didn't do wrong. No, it's fine. So they started investigating him. About you know being corrupt and, and doing and stealing money, whatever. What he did is, isn't really he, he was corrupt and he stole money. Sure. But essentially, he did he did admit he did it. <laughs> so when they went and they started like to his house to search and stuff, mm-hmm. they found. Uh, oh no. Chickens like <laughs> like 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 not like live chickens <laughs> like chickens and even worse chicken in the freezer. <laughs> But yeah. they were stuffed with gold bars. I'm sorry. Oh, so he so was... he took like raw chicken that was like hollowed out in the center, like a Thanksgiving turkey, shoved gold bars in them, and then put them in his freezer to hide mm. them. <laughs> maybe, jo- maybe Jonas, there was a chicken c- catching contest, and he was waiting his chicken so that he could win the contest for having the heaviest chicken. Just like the fishing bros. Yeah, it was a call. You got it. It was remember, a callback. I remember. It happened in Ohio, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Cuyahoga County. Yeah. All right, and, but then, yeah. Uh, and then they they also, he fa- they found, he had like, he had debit and gift cards buried in his garden. <laughs> what? So, yeah. So I don't know what this dude was thinking. I, I don't. Gold bars and chickens. And then, yeah, debit and credit cards just, like, buried in his garden. Well, like, he just has some it? iTunes gift cards. My question is how'd they find the gift cards in his garden? Because he, he pled guilty. So they when they came to, like, get his stuff, he, like, turned in all of his things. But why would you turn in your cards if they're buried? I don't know. When you get out of jail in Exa- 30 years, oh, somebody yeah, they're already going to seize your property. We need to dig up somebody else's bamboo garden. I mean, look. The way I see it, I wouldn't give up the cards because either it's going to be like I get out of prison and maybe I can go and retrieve the cards or or B, maybe the family gets to come up that by purchase yeah, of the home. Yeah, I know. And I feel you like if you're because because if I like was in trouble like this and I had like buried my money, mm-hmm. I don't know why he didn't bury the gold bars. That, makes a, lot, was, that yeah. makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah because you could say, oh, I went out into this rural country ass <clears throat> thing, buried him under a tree or something. That's scary, though, man. It reminds me of Sopranos. Remember when Tony buried money in the woods and then you, you got to come back and find that. Right. Like, right. Somebody watching you bury well, but it. Nowadays, you can use GPS technology, get the exact GPS coordinates, yeah. and then you just use GPS to go back there. Like you go out into the goddamn damn woods wherever you bury it you mark it with a g yeah. you get the exact gps coordinates nah. and then you go but anyways if somebody's watching you that ish is gone yeah well right but if i see somebody burying something i'm going to see what it is yeah but if you go out into the wilderness and there's nobody around anyways neither here nor there if they found out i did this and they and say they even came to me and said i know you have gold bars i know you have <laughs> gift cards whatever, whatever. where the gold bars Jonas? right and if you tell us where they are We'll go light out around your sentence, blah, 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 Shit. right? Anyways, I would have a secret stash of gold bars. <laughs> I would have two stashes of gold bars, right? Like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, I would have one All that, right. like, if I get caught, yeah. you can have it. It's the majority, right? So they could be like, <laughs> and because they could say, because say they're like, you had $5 million in gold bars, and sure? I have like $4 million in gold bars in this spot. They could say, what happened to the other million? I spent it. I mean, it's it's reasonable to think that you spent a million dollars. No, sure. So then you have a million dollars in gold bars <laughs> hidden in another location. So yeah. when you get out of jail, you can try to go get that million dollars. Jonas of freaking criminal mastermind. <laughs> yes, who? Yes, the most least criminal, <laughs> criminal person ever. mastermind. But like, I, that's what I feel like. I, like you said, like I just wouldn't tell him about it. Yeah, and even yeah. if I did tell him about it, I would strategically bury it in two spots so i could give them some and then still have some now here's the thing jonas is like i said burying something is dangerous because it's a couple things that could happen somebody could watch you bury it uh, the house you say you're going to prison for five years 
where do you put your money that is the safest place to put it so that the cops can't get to it a company that comes to bulldoze the home doesn't get to it maybe the family who purchases your home after you're done they decide to do some remodeling or some oh uh, i'm no what i mean i wouldn't do anything in my property yeah. i would go to like I don't know, a national park or a some random ass. Oh, and there just happens to be a problem with the water pipes and they have to well, dig right, it up. Well, right, but I mean, that's the risk you run when you so bury your witches. So what's safer than burying? What's even better than burying it? Where is some place else that you could put your money that's safer than like burying? Like your illegal cash? Yes. The banana stand. What is that? That's it's from Arrested Development. Somebody got it. Okay. I'm <laughs> glad you made it. Hey, look, I like it when you make references that I don't get. That's good. There's always money in the banana stand. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, I don't know. My, my, the safest place I would think is you go to somewhere very rural and remote. Yeah. Whether it's a, a park, some other rando's property, but not like in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> it, it, like, it's far, go, you go as far out as you can go, drive like four hours into nothingness, uh, walk a mile from the road, uh, bury it out there, get your GPS coordinates. That's when some park ranger comes along and is like, oh, this mound of dirt looks like it's been disturbed well, here. Right. It, it, when you, but you run that risk, man. Like, But I think there's less of a risk of that being found than you burying it in your garden and then you go to jail and they sell your property and somebody else gets your house to rototilling and they find your debit right, card stash right <laughs> and it's like it's like uh you could think like maybe like an underwater cave like you could dive into an like an underwater a cave yeah. where are you <laughs> like you're gonna spend weeks finding an underwater cave oh, God, get scuba gear like, the fact is that people actually do do this that's why bags of cocaine are still flowing up in florida because they're in the water and they toss that ish out when the navy comes when the I mean, National Guard comes. There's that, and there's also the underwater cave. I don't. Oh, sure. Defense. Let's let's roll with it. There's a big. Hear me out. Underwater caves. Did I get it? I, it's not all underwater. There's parts of it where it's like air pockets. You play too much Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> You're like when you come up for air, the air pockets in the cave. You just put your right. gold bars in there. All right, listen, fine. Underwater cave, maybe not the best idea. Anyway, <laughs> I understand that plate tectonics is happening and global warming. All and... you need is one big earthquake, and then you can't get back uh, to your yeah seismic plate shift. There's got to be someplace better, Jones. This is actually something we need to keep in mind in case it ever should come up that you need to go to jail where you want me to hide the money <laughs> all of money? our youtube I don't money i have any money all of our youtube money oh oh that money sorry yeah, i forgot yeah. i had that when money. the new single that we have out by the way on the channel new, yeah yeah new that's musical single. look at that it's a funny rap parody video yeah. and, rap when rock. That, and when that comes out and we make millions of dollars because everybody listens and loves it yeah, when we get SoundCloud bucks, we become <sighs> rock rap rock SoundCloud rappers. Yeah. We can hang out with okay. Mask of the God and other people. Okay, I've got it, Jonas. You get yourself a friend who works in construction. He puts it the money in the foundation of the building that is currently being built, but he puts it in like like a place where it's like kind you of don't destroy the whole building. They no, get to. no. <laughs> like, like yeah, just you put it in the foundation. You can like, put it like in the basement. Of the building, or he could put it like along the side of the building. But then he knows it's there, and if you're locked up, how he, the fuck is, what is he gonna do? Go there and take it, it while you're in jail for five years and spend it himself? Absolutely. You know, you you see, you pay him. Okay, listen. If you were the construction guy, yeah, and somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, I want you to put ten million dollars in the foundation of your building," and then they're in jail for thirty years, I would never put the money in the foundation. You would just not do it. <laughs> I put you an can empty your own purpose right now. <laughs> like you just, you just I I would at least put it in there, and then when they're in jail, I'd be like, oh, they ain't getting out for thirty years. I'm taking this no, money. Well, I, I would, mean, the they would murder you when they got out of jail, but then they're going back to jail. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't give. If me I any get solace. thirty million of some criminal's money, and then they kill me afterwards, I mean, I guess, I mean, that's I mean, what, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you steal that much money from someone, they're going to murder you. <sighs> that's very true. Like I don't care who you are, if someone steals. Like, someone steals 100 bucks from you, whatever. Someone steals $30 million from you, someone yeah. you're going to want to murder them. <laughs> That's very true. Do, do they make a volcano-proof bag or box, Jonas? <laughs> yes, yes. Cause, yeah, cause the, they're, they're, those, those magma-proof, lava-proof uh, satchels. Yeah, because right then I could put the money in a volcano-proof box. If and, it, and use a volcano-proof chain and lower it in. Yes. And then you just, and then I just come back in like 10 I years, five years I think that's the best later. idea we've had out of any of hey, it. that's the business we need to get into. Volcano-proof bags.
Got it. Got it. <laughs> Writing it down and actually taking notes. Uh, yeah, magma. Volcano Anyways. Bag. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazy.com, subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.